Okay, folks, we're back. Uh, part two of this series, we're going to take a look at how to debog your quadrajet. And in the last video, you saw I covered some theory of operation on the secondary side of a quadrajet. I showed you how it feeds gas through the secondaries. Um, you know, it's kind of a neat arrangement. You have these air horn, a hair horn with air flaps, and the discharge ports for the where my finger is for the secondary. That's where the fuel feeds. So let's start looking at some common problems of a quadrajet. Why, when you stomp it, you don't get that nice, satisfying kick in and the sound and everything, and see if we can figure out what's going on. Now, this carburetor has been outside in the shop for a while, and it's got some corroded uh, corrosion going on on these bottom flaps. It's nothing that's going to hurt the carburetor, but they're likely a little bit stuck so what I'm going to do is I'm going to work these things and try to hold the camera I'm going to show you I'm going to try to open this throttle up and we're going to see now the secondary is the choke is on on this thing I just showed you in the last video and this little block under this little uh, arm that I showed you it's going to keep these secondaries from opening up because the engine will assume is cold so let's see what happens. I may have to unstick these primaries. Let me go ahead and do that real quick because I can tell they're stuck. This is similar to what you would run into if you tried to use a quarter jet that's been inactive for a long time. Okay, I got that one freed up, so let's take a look at what we got here. All right, now of course your throttle cable is attached here and it rotates back like this and you can see when you open the accelerator, it opens the primaries and then you have the rod going back here. Now watch this rod that I showed you right there, that rod. Watch what happens back here. I want you to watch. See, it's it's trying to kick open the secondary barrel. See how see this how far this is coming back. Now, pay very close attention. When I do this again, I want you to watch the end of this shaft, that screw head there. That's the end of the throttle shaft. That's directly that those are mounted on. See that? It's rotating around it, but it's not turning. Now that's designed to be that way. Don't panic and think, well, it's fucked up. It's broken. It's not working. That's the whole reason. No, it's not, guys. That's that's it's supposed to be like that. That's so that you can go ahead and stomp the gas whenever you want to. It may not open the four barrel up, but it'll still, you know, you won't it won't prevent you from going wide open throttle up here. So it has to be that way for it to you be able to get the primaries open all the way. So let's go manually work this carburetor. What I want to do is is we're gonna. Uh, Sorry, I'm looking at something as I'm... Let's disable this. Okay, see what I did here? I moved this thing away, this this catch. <laughs> I don't know a better name to call it. I just call it a catch. I don't like these things. Whenever I rebuild a quarter jet, I take this off, this thing off. You have to pull the choke and everything out to get it off. It just slides off of a little shaft. But let's get this thing out of the way, and then let's turn the carburetor back over again. And, of course, we can see it's it's out of the way right there. Sorry for the lighting. So nothing should obstruct the secondary from opening up now. So let's try working the throttle open again and see what happens. See that? The secondary flaps are frozen up. Nothing's holding them. They're just frozen. Now that can happen on a quarter jet that's not been run hard in a long time or... If the, the car's just sat and it's got some moisture in the carburetor, it's a common thing to happen. So uh, what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to manually get these things broken open because it won't do anything. You won't ever get it to kick the four barrel in because the four barrel ain't working. So let me go ahead. I'm going to set the camera down. And I'm going to take my hand and I'm going to try to get these things un, un dislodged here. There we go. Boy, they're tight too. Whew. Let's 
So I'm going to work these a little bit. To, they're supposed to close under spring tension, so. There we go. They're starting to. Now, I would never recommend you using a carburetor that's set up this long. You would need to overhaul it because. It's undoubtedly dirty inside and everything. It may got bugs in it and shit, so. Okay, you can see we got it freed up now, so. <clears throat> now then, we still made sure that our, our choke preventer tang down here is off. Out of the way, it's not gonna keep the signature. So, so now let's take a look at this. I'm gonna open the throttle up again. So when I do, uh, I wanna show you how this works. Okay, there they come open. Now they don't open up all the way, so don't panic about that either. Don't think that that, that, that ain't gonna, you'll never know the difference in that. You know, it's not, what I'm saying is, it's not something for you to even spend one second about trying to modify this thing so those flaps open up 90 degrees. GM designed it that way on purpose, and there's no reason that you would never tell a difference, even if you spent all day modifying this thing, so don't even, you know, you could do it pretty easily, but don't don't even worry about it, okay? So, there you see how this thing works. I've never had to even hardly ever work on one of these, adjust this. You can if you want to, just don't go over center with it. Okay, so we've cured one potential problem with this quarter jet. We fixed the second, the bottom barrels. These are, these are just called throttle blades, they're not called barrels really, but uh, we've we've unfrozen these so now we've got this much of it working correctly so we know that the bottom side is working so we get this bottom side working and we just go take a test in it and it's still not kicking we just get a we don't get a like we're supposed to have so let's go up here and look at this Nine times out of ten, if we fix those bottom barrels open, and we're going to get the good old whoop that we want. Sometimes these top barrels, these top air doors, they will freeze in place. So we want to make sure they're unstuck and moving back on their own. This one's a little sticky. So, okay. Now let's start looking. I'm going to say this kind of bluntly, folks. And, you know, I'm not trying to be a jerk about this, but I've seen many of these kind of same kind of problems on these the quadrajets that start running bad that won't kick in correctly. The secondaries won't come on smoothly. Uh, they bog, you know, that's where they got the name, the quarter bog. And I'm going to tell you why it is. Nine times out of ten, it's because Joe Blow, backyard mechanic, looks at this carburetor and he sees a couple things on here he thinks he can improve. So... You know, it's another case of like the guys who are armchair coaches that they watch the football game at home and they know all the right plays that the, that the coach should have made. They know them already. They're smarter than the coach. So Joe Blow, backyard mechanic, looks at this quarter jet and, you know, maybe he's a little kid even, 18-year-old kid, and he's trying to get every little bit of horsepower out of this thing, and he's thinking that he's going to outsmart the, the guys that put in hours and hours and hours and days and months designing this carburetor well you're not and i'm going to show you a couple things that people do that fuck these things up that's the only way i know to describe it they just fuck up the way they run so first of all what i've seen many many times is when you have a quadrajet that you kick the, you stomp it and it kicks in and it instead of it just taking smoothly off and you hear whoop what it does, it does something like this. You kick the gas and it either noses over for a second and backfires or it knows it, it go boop, then go boop, 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 like that. And it won't, you know, you keep having to try to hit it and it won't take it, it won't take it, won't take it. Or, you know, it'll go boop, 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 boop. You know, you basically, you have to get the engine up higher RPMs for the four barrel to come on smoothly. Well, in the next video, we're going to start looking at this and we're going to solve these problems. Stay tuned.